Biafra lands become a den of lions, are the decorations and the freedom of Biafrans become unstoppable to the Nigerians, Jaja Wales government. Hear the news in the hotels. Biafrans allowance of freedom. So welcome back to Biafrans live media televisions. We are still making sure that you have been updated on every information coming across the freedom, coming across the decorations of Biafrans all over the world. Pay attention and go straight to the news in the hotels. Biafrans allowance of freedom. You must all notice that Biafra land has become a threat to all the evil men that are fighting against the freedom of Biafra. Biafra land has become a threat to all the people that doesn't want the good of the people, that doesn't want the freedom of the people, that doesn't want the unity, the peace of the people. And this is the message that the Prime Minister has for them. Those who are picking this information directly from uh, the Prime Minister X handle, his Twitter X handle. As the Prime Minister is sending these information, the ground is shaking already. They are running hater and scatters already. But let's take it step by step. We'll still get into that. Follow us as we read directly from our Prime Minister X Twitter handle. The Prime Minister said, to all the, to all the politicians in Biafra land, is a choice before you. A choice to remain in your land or a choice to live. A choice for a better future and a better systems or a choice for perpetual damage. Can you listen to that? A choice to be part of this history or a choice to be an enemy of the history. All these choices are before you today to choose. If you think someone ever has come to do Biafra struggle like others, look around you. I am not the same. I come with fires. I come prepared with offer from the bed for this freedom. This is the message that the Prime Minister sent to all the politicians. He said he was prepared. Just like according as the Bible said before you were born, I have ordained you a prophet to the nation. Someone ever said he has been ordained. He was born with offer to destroy, to dismantle all the activities of a giant Jawili country called Nigerians. Let's make a point before continue. Recently, we heard that some giant Jawili armies come to Biafra land to make funds, to make jests of our freedom. But we give them water, water. Let's start from there so that we can understand where we are going to. Please don't forget to share this video. It's happening live. Today in Abon State, it's happening live. This is, this is Zoo Soldier. Are you seeing them? This is Zoo Soldier. The zoo soldiers, this idiot is down. We tell you to leave our line over here. Mad people, see him? See this one is down. This one is down. Kill a lot for them, nothing to happen. We do. We do. How about you know? What do you know? Nothing to happen. Now, what do we do? Our land we do. Nothing to happen. Anybody who put body, you go collect what to Where are these people today? Where are these people today? Where are these people today in 2020? Where are these people today? Where are these people today? You see? You see? We are saying, where are they today? You just hear somebody shouting, come and shoot me, come and shoot me, come and shoot me. Yeah, you must shoot me, you must shoot me. And today, I am asking, where is the guy? Because you don't even need to ask. You will be shot just for coming out. If you are looking for bullets today, you don't need to go and ask. Now. <laughs> One moment. One moment. One moment. Has brought the country to uh, something of a standstill. Protests have seen at least one. 
has brought the country to uh, something of a standstill. Protests have seen at least one person shot dead by police and many more injured. The BBC's Mark Lovell is in Lagos from where he sent this report. <laughs> Where is BBC today? Did you see BBC? Did you see BBC News? Where is BBC today to report the issue of Nigeria? Where? Where is BBC News today in 2020? Here is BBC reporting protest in Nigeria. Protesting the government's removal of the fuel subsidy has led to the doubling of the price of petrol. Some of those who wanted to work felt too afraid to. I don't have to risk my life, my family's at home, my kids are home. We are ready for now. Where is BBC today? Look at police forming chain, human chain. As businesses shut and tensions were high. And we are speaking our minds, yeah. and our mind is this, they need to reverse the foil pride. Most of today's mass protest passed off calmly. There was a carnival atmosphere at times. Many workers on strike like that. Where is this BBC man today? Is he dead? Is that BBC man dead? Is he still reporting for BBC? Or do we need to invite another person from BBC? Where is BBC today? Where? Thousands here in Lagos are at mass protests, all saying that they can't live without the fuel subsidy. It's been in place for years. They're determined for the government to get that message. They say they're prepared to strike indefinitely. But some protests did turn violent. Two people were shot dead in Kano, a police fired by ammunition and used tear gas. And a man was shot dead by security forces in Lagos. <laughs> the current protests are likely to weigh heavily on President Gunmak Jonathan's mind, as he is also battling the militant Islamist Boko Haram in the north. The group has killed dozens of Christians since Christmas. Where is BBC today? And the president thinks battling them is even more complicated than the country's civil war in the 60s. On Monday, a mosque was attacked in the south, apparently in retaliation for the burning of churches. Ordinary mosque was attacked. Ordinary mosque was attacked. And BBC reported it. Ordinary mosque was attacked. And BBC reported it. BBC reported a mosque that was attacked. Where is BBC today? Villages are being raised. Where is BBC? Villages are being raised. Southern Kaduna people are being killed in their hundreds every week. Where is BBC? Mosque were attacked. BBC reported it in 2012. Look at them. Ten people were injured. Ten people were injured. BBC reported it. Many will now watch to see if those security worries encourage an early settlement with strikers as the protests continue. Mark LaBelle, BBC News, Lagos. B News Lagos, where are you today? Where? Where are you today? Where is BBC? Okay, one moment. Of course, we don't have a, we, we don't have a, enough time, but uh, very soon <laughs> uh, we don't have enough time. Maybe we'll continue. But I need to, I need to take your your memory back so that you will understand. This criminal mafia in the country set up all kinds of scams, and one of it is the oil subsidy uh, scam. And basically, what they do is that they claim that they are subsidizing oil on the basis of liters. You know, uh, I mean, there are four liters of gas in one gallon. So, but there's nothing like that. Uh, like uh, our colleague here mentioned, uh, supposed to be four refineries, only about two of them are actually working to some reasonable capacity. They destroy the refineries uh, intentionally. Uh, so they now give themselves contracts to import uh, gas, that's gasoline, back into Nigeria. 
and then they set up a subsidy fund that what it means is that if you bring back four barrels of gasoline to Nigeria, the Nigerian government will pay you, say, five dollars per gallon because, you know, they are subsidizing you. But the truth is that, one, they inflate the number of gasoline they bring back into the country. We found out even about three weeks ago uh, that they were importing about 25, 24 million liters that nobody could explain who is buying them. Uh, then they get subsidy for it. So uh, it got them so ridiculous that they started importing water. Uh, and yes, this is not a joke. It's, we import water. You go to the high seas with the, with the, with the tank and, and get water, scoop water from the high seas and import it back to Nigeria. They'll bring paperwork to the customs and they'll clear them. And when they pay them the subsidy, they take the water back and pour it back into the ocean. It is not funny. This is how bad the oil scam is going on. But I'm Yes, now, uh, did, did you hear? This was immediately after Occupy Nigeria. So, what he was analyzing because he, he, they are the people who who projected the Occupy Nigeria. So, after the Occupy Nigeria, so what he is now explaining explaining to you the conspiracy, the uh, scam in oil uh, subsidy and what have you. <laughs> Today, let me show you something. One moment. One moment. One moment. Now look at this. Did you see that? This was July 29, 2019. Money spent to import fuel in five years can build 14 refineries of 100,000 investigation reviews. Now, tell me, where are the Occupy Nigerians? Where are the Occupy Nigeria that was protesting for oil subsidy? Meanwhile, ordinary five years of Buhari administration. The money they have spent have doubled what Jonathan have ever spent in his government. And according to them, the money spent will build 14 refineries. I did not say it. Where are they? I'm going to stop here today. A lot, enough of this exposition for today. Join me again tomorrow. Remember, this is the what we do for Biafra. It is going, we are going to stop at nothing until we get Biafra. Remember, the only solution to all the things I'm explaining to you now, I have to take your memory a little bit back so that you understand the predicament you are into. I have been able to present a lot of things this evening. Remember, the only solution to stop the invasion of the southern part of Nigeria by terrorists, the only solution, the only thing we can do to stop insurgency that is about to start in the southern part of Nigeria is disintegration of Nigeria. Disintegration of Nigeria will stop it, Regional government can never stop uh, uh, can never stop a terrorist attack. Regional government or a structure of Nigeria can never stop them from attacking you. It can they can never you can never it can never stop them from penetrating your region. But total disintegration will stop them because you will have total freedom to control your border. You will have your border. You will have your border guard. Your border will be controlled with the heavily armed security men that will not allow anybody illegally to enter your territory. This is the only solution. Apart from this, everything you do, you are only buying time to be murdered. Thank you for watching this evening. Please share this video and it shall be well with you. May God bless you and may God bless Biafra. Good night.
Israel must be defended at all costs. At all costs, it is the land of God given to his children for their eternal habitation. We may have failed in the past to recognize this very fact, but now that this generation has come, there is nothing anybody can do to stop us from restoring the kingdom of God upon the face of this very earth in the land of Biafra, without apologies to anybody. The United States of America is a steadfast supporter of the principles that people have a right to choose their own form of government. Nations have a right to choose their own alliances. There are inalienable rights governments must protect. The rule of law must be cherished. Sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states must be respected. The UN Charter and its principles of sovereignty, territorial integrity, human dignity, and the right to self-defense, these principles are universal and we must uphold them. International law must be protected always and everywhere without any ambiguity in Ukraine, in the Middle East, and everywhere in the world. This is our global responsibility. Self-preservation must be protected at all costs. Today, the Biafra Liberation Army have neutralized dozens of these terrorists in our land. And we are proud of them. They will continue to go down. Our demand is very simple. Pull them out of Biafra land. Remove every checkpoint. If you do not dismantle all the checkpoints, they will continue to die. We will continue to excel. We will continue to deal with Nigeria. And Nigeria will never ever remain the same until Biafra exits from Nigeria. A government that uses violence will be responded with the same and equal measure of violence in self-defense. So I told them, yes, oh my God. here is not taken. I will turn to a beast and Biafra will come. Nigeria has no rule of law. Their rule of law is gone and bullet. And we have come to resist it. My fellow Biafrans, the world leaders made it very clear that self-preservation is a must. They use the word must. And it should be protected at all costs. At, at all costs.